Well, hi, all you beautiful souls out there. This is Compassion Spirit coming your way again. Woohoo! Anyway, this video today is for those who are seeking to move forward, but they just don't know how. Or those ones that possibly have been thinking about it. I think after you watch this video, I think you will be inspired to do so. First, let me get real with you. Firstly and foremost, I am very loving. I do like to show compassion. But with compassion also comes with a responsibility when we need to talk about being very honest. Now, how the compassion comes in to play is to be compassionate with yourself. And this is not about shaming anyone uh, whatsoever. But sometimes we really do need to hear it when we need to move forward. Why are you still sitting down, right? Those of you who are just sitting down at home and, and just worrying about your bills, worrying about the next moment and not doing anything about it. We have been conditioned to think that we have to wait for someone else to tell us what to do. We don't. You don't even have to wait until I tell you what to do. So with this video, I'm just going to be someone that's going to inspire you. Okay? So anyway, so let's say that you have health issues about your knees or your just your back and what have you. You can still do some exercises. Do not wait until everything opens up and you go, oh, now I'm going to go to the gym. No, 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 no. You need to start now. I have to keep in mind what I'm trying to inspire, right? So anyway, so what can you do at home if you don't have a gym to go to? Well, I am sitting down in my car, and I'm sorry, I was trying to do this outside today, but my schedule got kind of messed up, so I have to do this in my car. But I still do things in my car. So, I'm putting my seat back a little further. Okay, well, first of all, if you're sitting down at home, uh, or on a chair, you know, on a, it could be on a couch or a chair, all right? So now then, there are simple little things that you can do. All right, if you have a couple of cans of uh, food in your, uh, in your cupboard, get them out. I'll wait. Do, 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 wonderful anyway so get those cans one in one hand and one in the other hand okay now I don't have any cans with me so because I'm uh, just about to start work anyway so you get your hands get those cans in your hands put them to the side right where your shoulders are just right up in front of it now I want you to go up all the way up as far as you can. If it doesn't feel good, don't you stop, okay? I do not want anyone to hurt themselves. Then you come down. Now, what I want you to do, do these with 10 reps, five to 10 reps, because some of you are probably pretty much out of shape, but that's okay. Your body is magnificent. It will get into shape. So you just keep doing this. And bring it down wait a second and go up okay now then I want you to get your wrists or uh, your hands in those cans and I just want you to do just to turn your arms towards you and out in and out in and out what we're doing here is so that your joints are getting some movement because anytime when you just sit there and you're just doing basic little things, your joints are um, 
are going to feel de they're going to start deteriorating because they need lubrication and that's how they get lubrication is by movement okay so for example here's your fingers if any of you have arthritis this is a great workout and actually this is good for anyone even for kids and it's just these are all simple exercises but if you do them each and every day it will make a big difference so you go just simply tapping your fingers with your thumb again do three sets of ten okay if you need to do less like do three sets of five that's okay so one set is actually going one and then going back okay that's one set so we can do that now I can't really show you this one but you'll get the gist of it if you go to your wall standing if you can or just with a chair now what I want you to do is extend your arm out a little bit it doesn't have to be really far out you can be a little close but what you're going to want to do is walk like a spider up the wall and like that just one finger at a time as you're moving up okay then once you go as far as you can and again do not hurt yourself uh, there is some people like I said are not in good condition because uh, they've been sitting around for a long time so we're just trying to get that body moving okay so you stretch it and you just keep it there and count to five now bring it down slowly and I do mean slowly okay all right so there you go those are just a couple little three exercises so first you're gonna do your stretching go forward and do the spider walk okay and I want to uh, just inspire all of you to do not wait until someone tells you what to do. You have intuition, use it. If you have any questions, ask. And ask on everything. If something doesn't add up, like two plus two is four. But if it's going two plus two equals six, you know that doesn't add up. So you keep asking questions. Let's get us going and let's just be in charge of ourselves. Do not worry about your neighbor and what they're doing. You have to worry about yourself first. If you want to help your neighbor, which is a great thing to do, go and pick up some trash in front of their house or something. If they're the, an elderly person, take them a case of water. Um, you may want to, if you know they have arthritis, make sure you take the the bottles out and put them in several different bags you know because they may be frightened to answer the door we need to get rid of this fear and how we are going to do it is by doing for others we have to start being creative and knowing what we can do for someone else once you're showing that you're showing gratitude you're showing that we are not going to be divided anymore we are going to work together because we're all here on this planet together and that is how we are to be with each other we are to we are here to to help each other out to be uh, to be connecting with each other if it's on zoom if you can if in your area you can gather with a couple of friends do it you need that connection okay so anyway um, I love all of you and let's get going. Let's move forward. Love you. Mwah.